lesson. Plenty of theories circling about, given that this is the second incident uh, at this mosque in Verulam. What's the mood like uh, as you talk to us uh, now? Well, Michelle, your timing is perfect because that meeting that we've been referring to has just ended and we now have confirmation that that device was indeed a bomb. It seems like it's, it's been confirmed that it was an explosive device, but I'm going to get straight into an interview with uh, some people in Plongo. He speaks for the Hawks in KZN. He was in that meeting. He was saying to me off camera in Plongo that uh, we now have confirmation that this is an explosive device. Yes, Desen, we have a brief meeting with the explosive unit uh, members who briefed us about the device that they have taken away yesterday. They confirmed that its mechanism is an uh, explosive, uh, but at this stage they haven't gone through analyzing what chemicals is it, it is made of, and that area we will leave it to them as the expert in the field of explosion to explain to our communities uh, on what it really is. Mfonko, do we know yet, uh, did this come up in the meeting, what kind of damage could a device like that have caused? They alleged that it is, the device is designed to burn. So do we know anything about the extent of what it could have burnt? At this stage, they haven't gone into details. As I've said, that they will go through the device and analyze it. Once they have done that, they will issue a report whereby an expert from explosive unit will share with the community at large what was it. This is a highly unusual case that we are dealing with here. I mean, you've seen that just how the community has reacted as well. What is now the next step? What happens from this point onwards? What happens to that bomb? What are investigators doing? The investigators, as you can see, they are all here in full force. Uh, we are obtaining statements to the people who access these premises we, after it was thoroughly searched by the forensic and other team on, 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 on Friday. And it is very strange. Uh, let me say this. It is a concern that the place was searched thoroughly. And on Saturday, they alleged that the chairman of the, of the church, that they came and they do some cleaning, but they stopped. And yesterday, they came and continue with some cleaning, and they never noticed this thing. It is a worrying factor, because now these pop-up uh, 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 things, they are disturbing our investigation, because now we are looking for the three suspects who, who committed uh, uh, that murder and those attempted murder in the, the, the mosque. Uh, at the same time, there is a new thing that has been found now, you know, are you, are you confident that it was thoroughly searched by police after the Thursday incident? Yes, it was thoroughly searched and handed over to the chairman who is the only person who got the key. There is no breakthrough, there is no nothing that uh, uh, they said it happened. Maybe someone, as you can see, the security is tight. And the, the, the chairman also alleged that there are securities who voluntarily uh, uh, assisted them. Uh, now, really... We are asking ourselves, we are looking for the uh, uh, criminals who committed the murder and the attempted murder, yet the explosive is, is found. Now it is found in a secured place. We are not disputing that it was not found. And somebody took it with the bare hands and threw it outside, and it never exploded. So we, we have a lot of questions now that we are asking ourselves. However, our investigating team, they will question everybody who went inside there, who was conducting the, clean, the cleaning, they must share some light with us so that we will find how this device ended up there. Mshongo, I know the team was here until very late last night and they are here again. As we speak, is there, uh, do you have any confidence that the mosque is completely clean now of any similar devices or anything, that, uh, anything else that could be found? As you can see behind us, that the explosive unit guys are, are there. They are conducting another search. After they have given us a report, we will be confident that the place is safe again. Then if they find something after we have left, we, we don't know. But we will be confident, as I'm confirming now, that the place was thoroughly searched. And what is strange, they came themselves to clean on Saturday. They said they do the partial cleaning, and they never noticed this thing. Only yesterday, 
I think I'll ask you directly just before we wrap up. Are there suspicions that it could be an inside job? I cannot confirm that and we cannot dispute it at the same time. Let us conduct this investigation. Let us get those statements from the people who were here and it will tell us whether it is an inside job or whether it was put. Yes, that one will be find out. I trust our members. We will find out. Thank you so much, Mpongo. Michelle, that's the latest coming out of this uh, bomb scare, which I guess we can call it now because there has been confirmation that that was indeed an explosive device. Also, you heard at the, heard at the last part of that interview, Mplongo saying to us there that they will also now be investigating the possibility that someone that's known to this mosque could be behind it. He says that uh, that is still something that the investigation will uncover. Uh, Desen, before we let you go, as we unpack this breaking news on the channel, is it uh, clear to you from that interview whether the bomb was placed there after the police had conducted that search in the wake of the first attack at that mosque? Uh, what, are, what are the hawks saying about when they think uh, this bomb was placed there? That's what we, uh, I think we are trying to get clarity on here, Michelle, because if you heard um, Flongo talking about the fact that the place was thoroughly combed on Thursday, and I even asked him again, asking, is, is he completely confident that police on that day did their jobs to, their best, to the best of their abilities? And he says, yes. And the only people that then had access to this mosque thereafter were those that are part of it. So he was alluding to the fact that it could possibly be someone that's known to the mosque but I must also stress that it is very early and this investigation continues so it's one of those things that we'll be following quite closely. All right well thanks very much for the very latest from Verulam there our reporter Desen Thathia bringing us that breaking news uh, just in on the channel uh, the device that was discovered at the Verulam mosque is now confirmed to be a bomb those Hawks, those Hawks investigations are uh, still ongoing about how, just how that device made its way uh, into the mosque there.